All right, good day everyone, and welcome to yet another new title that has just dropped recently. Uh, this is Ixion. Um, I'm a big fan of colony builder games uh, in general, particularly survival colony builder games. I really enjoyed Frostpunk, and Ixion is a game that's just come out that seems to be some sort of mixture of space, colony, survival, whatever. Uh, I enjoy them because I'm a bit of a weirdo. Uh, most people don't enjoy having to lay out beautiful supply and logistics chains. I'm one of those people who does, and I thought I'd give the game a try basically blind. I gave myself five minutes in the game just to make sure it would run, and I understood the basic concepts a little bit. Um, but we're just going to hop into a new game and show it off. Now, um, I have been showing off a lot of new games recently because there's been a lot of very cool releases. We'll let the intro movie play here in a moment. Um, but yeah, there's just been a bunch of very exciting releases and I figure if I can up the pace of videos for the moment while I have a, a brief moment of break, um, some more Dwarf Fortress and maybe a little bit of Ixion might be on the agenda. Although I really want to put out more uh, Dwarf Fortress and keep the servants in Terra and Victor going. But anyway, here's the intro movie for Ixion. Um, and then you get to see me do a bit of a, a blind play. I will talk over it though. So the basic premise is, uh, we seem to work, from what I've gathered, I haven't followed this game particularly much. People recommended it to me and I've checked it out. Uh, we work for some sort of mega corporation that has built some sort of colonizing hybrid space station spaceship. And that makes sense as an idea, right? Like spinny gravity rim, people can live on it. That makes sense for long distance space travel. I presume this is us sending a crew up to that space station. Um, and that's basically all I know about it. Uh, and then developing that space station and running it from there is basically the agenda. That's what I know. This looks like a shuttle type launcher with a disposable those are probably disposable boosters I'm liking the opening animation so far all right so we're in a hardened underground launch I don't know why we're in a hardened underground launch facility rather than an above ground one Maybe we fear attacks or something. This is more like what I would expect of a, a silo. This is because that's a lot of engineering to go into a facility for something that you would normally think you could just launch above ground. And at scale, that's a huge space center. So we are clearly loaded as a megacorp. All right, there you go, the boosters. Hope they're reusable, guys. Or at the very least, you put them to burn up. I don't want no Kessler Syndrome. And there's the, the space station thing, which is um, hilariously uh, spelled the way it is, but it's pronounced, as I've heard it said so far by characters, this is the Tycoon. And I believe our shuttle is the... Sharon. So there we are. That's our station that we are going to be operating on uh, throughout this game. We're going to try and not get our people killed and serve the corporation's interests, I believe. Like I said, I know basically nothing about the story and I played five minutes, but I know the game doesn't crash so far, at least in the, that five minute test, so life is good. Now the one problem is that um, in going to a game like this blind, so let's just pause it straight away. As soon as it lets it pause it anyway. So there's our shuttle coming into the hangar bay. Oh, there's a creepy AI talking to us. Uh, that never goes wrong. Cool, lights are on. Welcome aboard the Tycoon. Wait near the docking bay. I don't want to wait near the docking bay. I want to pause. Okay, so this is basically, it looks like a settlement building game. I have a limited amount, I have a very limited amount of space. And from what I understand, these are resource deposits that are just like piles of supplies that have been left here that we need to collect. And eventually we're going to build buildings here and sort of uh, accommodate a population. Uh, life is good. Now, the reason going to a game like this blind is hard is because I don't know the economy chain. I don't know the building sizes. So developing an efficient building layout to use space efficiently is going to be really hard. So I'm just going to have to follow the usual rule of trying to squish stuff together and be a little bit logical about it. Um, but from what I know, all the only buildings I know so far are stockpiles, which seem to be where you store stuff, workshops, which build new buildings, 
roads, and then I know that there are I know that there are houses for us to accommodate the crew. So the to collect these resources, we need to build places to store those resources, um, and then connect the deposits by road. So let's build a bunch of roads. I don't believe in wasting time in these titles. The roads are allowed to be messy because the roads don't seem to cost anything, just like Frostpunk. Uh, and I'm basically basing all my early game decision making on lesson, lessons and principles applied in Frostpunk. Um, so we'll build roads connecting everything. That means all the resources will be accessible. Uh, and then we need to build some stockpiles and a workshop. What size is the workshop? So one, two, th so it's three, it's four wide. And you can rotate, okay? You can rotate, and that would make a three by four there. So that's probably a waste of space. We're probably gonna move the workshop eventually once I know how big buildings get. But for the moment, uh, let's just go with a centrally placed workshop like over here. Almost certain to be destroyed eventually. It does seem uh, like I'd be likely to move that later on. And how big are these? These are what? Four by four? Four by four. No. Is that four by four? That is four by four. All right, so that is a bit of a mean shape considering I believe houses are three by three, if I remember from a couple of minutes ago. So you can fit. So the way we can do it is we can fit a house. We can fit maybe racks of houses in these areas. Uh, maybe doing them like in bo blocks with like a road, a road on the outer a road uh, and then pack the ones in between. So we could do something like a road back there. So like a run a road down the middle. So make this the 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 territory of the three by three buildings. So we'll make this three one two three because that's what one two three by three. Then for the moment we'll just connect this road here, but eventually we'll probably replace it. So that's an area for three by three buildings. And then probably on the other side of the map, let's create territory for some four by four buildings. One building of that type, two buildings of that type, three, four. We'll just create an, an area like that. And again, this road, this connecting road is temporary. And let's create the first of our stockpiles. Let's lay down three of those to start with. I'm sure we'll need more. And then you select what they store. And there's a lot of resources in this game, which is why I think I'll need a bunch of stockpiles. Like if I need one for each one, um, then I'm going to need a lot of them, which is why I'm thinking reserving a significant amount of territory off this side for 4x4s four works works well. I don't know how all the stuff in the middle fits, but if we put houses in one corner, storage is in the other, fill out from there, who knows. Um, so what do we got? We've got alloys, polymers, electronics, food. So I think we need one of food, one of polymer, and one of this alloy thing, which basically looks like steel, because if I look at these supply boxes, some are full of steel, some are full of uh, polymer, and I'm pretty, ah, uh, there's one full of food there, okay. And then to connect it, you then click this button up top once they're connected. So let's just let someone build the roads while I listen to the creepy AI. Well, that's good of you. All right, so little robot from the workshop is building roads. That's good. Um, I'd like it to build roads to over here because then I can start collecting resources. In fact, to save just a small amount of time, Let's just not build this road just yet. We'll build it once we've got the resources connected. Who are you? Giovanni Battista. I wanted to introduce you to your first tasks personally. All right. 
Oh, I got a bunch of stuff here. Okay. A, f a tech lab, which does which turns research into stuff. A docking bay for ships, which I've already got. Alright, so we can now start collecting these resources because they're connected by road. And I want to clear these out and get them into stockpiles with the reason being um, then they're not in the way. These ones here are probably too. Yeah, presumably. Presumably I will need to know what I'm doing, which is basically what you're saying. Alright, so it looks like the stockpiles send out these little things to collect stuff, which is good. I'm going to add that road back now, because we've, we've now got resources collecting, so I'm not as worried. Oh, cool. So we're just the preparation for another one. Okay, we've got, there. These are the houses that we've unlocked and the infirmary. This is for sick people. This is for people to live in. How many people we got? We got 85 people. So we're going to need uh, six of these. That's perfectly fine. Let's start with four. And how big are these? These are three by six. So that's okay. They can occupy a space that would otherwise be occupied by two accommodations. Um, that road is in the wrong place. We'll have to leave that one for the moment to let them collect that box, but you, you see what I mean. All right, Creepy Aya, what am I doing? I'm talking to the lead scientist. You look very corporate. Also, it says lead scientist, but it's communications and data specialist. Um, data, data and comms engineers aren't usually scientists. Okay. Let's collect this food. I presume people want to eat. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't want camera controls. I know, I, I know the camera controls. The WASD. Filter all data collected. Bring you. Okay, so that's basically them saying I'm going to get tool tips if things are important. Got it. This is almost full of resources. Cool. Now let's collect resources from there, and I'm going to build another small stockpile here to let me store up more of this metal, so I'm not wasting, so I can collect all this without wasting space. Oh great! Okay, apparently our engine gives people dementia. That's um, that's cool. So I need th that's why I need a medical facility. Okay. So we'll do that. We'll build a road there. We are not affiliated with any national or even international organizations. Oh, great. So we answered a no one. Cool. And then I think, so there's buttons here. One lets me see my whole station, and one lets me see the planetary system map. Oh, I can scout places. Okay. So, again, running off the Frostpunk logic. You run an economy in your little station, but I'm assuming that means that I can go to these places and get resources or discoveries or something. So, time is always a resource. So, what did it say? You need a science ship? I'll make a science ship. 
I have plenty of this stuff, polymer. Um, so I'll make a science ship and go see what's going on there. Because it looks like I can have three ships here. So I'll build a science ship. What are the others? Const cargo to move stuff. Resource extractor. There you go. So external resource. Makes sense. You can't really mine a can't really mine a station. What's this saying? People need access to food. All right. So um, apparently people want to eat. Uh, these are needy employees. Apparently, uh, we can fit that in our four by whatnot space here. It'll cost us a little bit of road. Or we can start a long ways expression here. The safe option is probably to put it here for the moment, even though it's one like one to, like one row inefficient. And then we can probably fit some stuff down here. One, two, three, four. Oh. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. What is it? Maintenance stockpile. Oh, we will. If we do that, we're losing one uh, stockpile slot. Although, did I see like a docking bay? We're also losing the ability to put a docking bay here. So maybe this is not a. Maybe this is not a. How do I cancel construction? I don't want that there because that just seems like a bad idea because it's wedging me out of space in the corner, which I might need. What I should instead do is probably what? Like that? Because I can always adjust the middle road. So yeah, I'll do that. I assume people don't have to physically walk from their homes to their food to their workplace, etc. They might, in which case we will move this. But this is safer from a space management perspective. So yeah, uh, feed people. And we're making an infirmary too. Great. So the sick people will be looked after. See, I'm a fantastic corporate overlord. I'm giving people food and medical care. That is like luxury. These are all still being collected, that's fine. Wow, 40 metal for that. Okay, that's pretty that's one of the more expensive buildings we built. I am a little nervous over the fact I have no way to produce food at the moment. Being in space. Alright, so they're now building it, I presume. Where's my little construction robot? Then we can go back to building apartments. People can be homeless. I figure people can sleep on the floor of a space station or like in the cargo depot or like in the medical office or whatever, uh, but they probably need to eat. Admittedly, they could eat anywhere. I don't know why they need a mess hall in order to eat their food, but okay. Needy corporate employees. All right, I'm going to build this thing and move on. All right, we're back. The Marduk Council wants to talk to me. I assume they're the people that are in charge. I uh, I read uh, Bajaville there for a moment, and I read it as Banerjee, and I had my um, I had my Terran Victor flashbacks. You're a philosopher and ambassador. Which I assume is like our governing body. We haven't finished our science ship yet, but apparently we need to go exchange with another one. Fantastic, our science ship is ready. Is it ready or is it just being built? Oh, it's building. Okay, so apparently we need to go trade with another corporation, and we need a cargo ship. Okay, we're going to need a cargo ship. So after my science ship, I need a cargo ship. Uh, 
Hopefully I don't... I think I've got enough resources. I don't think I've soft locked myself or anything. Um, so one food feeds 10 crewmen. We have 52 foods, so we can feed 520 crewman days. Alright, so we got like six days worth of food. Or six cycles worth of food. I don't know how long a cycle is in space. Crew quarters are coming online. Infirmary is constructing as well. Collect all this. This stuff isn't connected by roads, so we're not collecting it yet. We can fix that. One, I want the resources, and two, I want the space, so give me stuff. It looks like I am, in fact, now out of steel. Quarters. Administrators. Crew members lacking quarters. Human history. Unnecessary homelessness has always been an indicator of civilizational decay. Decay. Do not reproduce humanity's basic mistakes aboard the Tycoon. Uh, ensure... Oh, okay. All right. Uh, this is like a Frostpunk dilemma. So I can promise to build everyone houses within 12 cycles, and I presume that'll make them happier. Whereas not doing it will not make them happy. So... Let's just increase the number of houses to six. The infirmary is now finished and active. So now all the all the construction bots should be doing is building up these apartments. And we got 11.6. I don't think making them high priority will do anything because they're the only priority. All right, so that one's now ready for construction. Yeah, the rate this is going, this should be this should be good. All right, so we've got a science ship active. So does that mean I can send it out to places? Waiting for a science ship. How do I? Oh, cool. Um, just click and it'll send. Oh, oh, cool. So I'm like a base and I'm sending. Okay, cool. So just like exploration teams in um. All right, so these are events. Base out of commission. Abandoned, depressurized, surveillance system is still operational, waiting orders, is there any sort of... All right, so we can exploit the security vulnerability or we can dismantle the base. Is there any more tooltips around here? But I can't find any more... Um... I can't find any more tooltips, so let's just uh, do this. See what happens. See if there's any classified information or data. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Back at base, looks like we've got apartment buildings constructing. 64 members, 49 members are homeless. Yeah, yeah, we, we're harden up, princess. Cool. And we're building a cargo ship. Fantastic. And how much does a mining... Mining ships cost 20. So after the this ship is done, I imagine what we'll do is we'll construct a mining ship. So we've got one of each. It seems like something logical. I want to be able to mine. I want to be able to transport stuff. And I want to be able to do events. So I'm sure people will eventually discover... I mean, this is cool. Instead of just having exploration teams, you have one of each. I keep comparing it to Frostbunk. I don't... It, it's not the same people. Um... I'm just seeing similarities in the way the game is structured, and it's how I'm making my decisions. Okay, so it's completed its action. What happens? Alright, cool. We got 10 science. Let's dismantle the base. Presume we can get some useful stuff out of it. Cargo ship complete. Let's build a mining ship. Uh, and then I have order a cargo ship to retrieve food via the fleet management window. All right. This is going to require some understanding. Fleet management. So I click food. Okay. Does that mean it now just automatically goes in? Oh, yeah, cool. So it's going and collecting food. Okay. 
So it'll bring back two food, which is enough to feed everyone for more than a cycle. I'm rapidly depleting my reserves of everything, but that is, I guess, to be expected. And we're building a mining ship. And soon, hopefully, no one will be homeless. Okay, that's dismantling. And then I think we get to send it to Mars next, which is kind of cool. Looks like we didn't get the science straight away, so apparently um, secure comms don't exist in this universe. We're going to have to fly the ship back, but that's okay. We can do that. I think we will make this quarters on time, at this rate anyway. I really would like a way to know... Like, stop that growing, glowing rather, but, um, okay. Looks like our, si our um, cargo ship has come back, so the mining ship is now constructing. I don't know where I can mine. I would presume I should be able to mine, like, Luna, although maybe the gravity's too much for the ship. Who knows? Like, some asteroids? There's a lot of stuff in our so There's a lot of stuff in our solar system that could be mined. Especially if you have the technology to build something like this. If you can build this... Great. Okay. What did the science ship discover? Oh, cool. Fantastic. Dismantled... Usable resources, 30 of this, 90 science, fantastic. So if I then tell you to come home and give me your stuff, and then I'm going to send you out to Mars. And then the game isn't telling me. It says collect science on the moon. I'm, I'm hoping that the event counts. Okay, this thing's huge. Like, that's a chonkin building. It is, however, about the same size, almost the same size as one of these uh, launch bays in terms of... The, but then again, how many launch bays am I going to need to line up? I mean, I can do that. But then I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that space and size. So I think what I'm going to do is extend this road like that. And like that, delete that road, and then rack the science bay next to this thing. Alright, no one's homeless. Yay, everyone's happy. Trust is going up. I presume this is happiness. I like people to be happy with their corporate overlords. Stable employment. In the harsh cold of space. Alright, delete all that. Let's build a tech lab. 75 metal, great. Well, I guess the um, I guess the science the um, science ship is bringing some back, or has brought some back. Oh, you need to. Okay, apparently you need to like study that science. All right, so apparently it doesn't transport science. The science ship needs to stand there and slowly absorb the science. So we have to leave our science ship here, slowly collecting the science. Meanwhile, I have set my cargo ship to collect the food and metal that was identified at the moon. So that's happening. And then what we need to do is build a science lab. And of course, I love I love space efficiency, so we're going to get rid of this bit of road, which should let us fit the science lab next to the hangar bay. So we get nice grids. Like that. And I believe it's in factories. There we go. Tech lab. Pretty expensive, 75 metal, but it is what it is. And we now have a mining ship. And there's nothing available for mining yet, so that may be a little bit of a waste, but it's okay. I'm seeing the whole solar system. Saturn, Mars. All good. We have to collect all this science on the moon for, an, uh, for the event, so we'll do that. And we have to build a tech lab, which I am doing. All right, life is good. Uh, we, I want to get rid of this, because once I get rid of this, uh, I can build up two more houses here and have spare housing. I presume we'll get more people. 
Storage is fine, mess hall is fine, tech is good. No reason to overbuild other infrastructure though, unless I know I'm going to need it. The constraint on getting resources into these seems to be the little transporty thingies at the moment. The fact they have to physically travel means that it might be efficient uh, in a perfect universe to centralize these stockpiles. But I just don't know what the other buildings are, so I'm happy with travel time at the moment. In exchange for knowing that I'm going to be somewhat space efficient. Wait, no, this is a door. That's a door. I really hope I'm not going to have to build like a road through there. I'm going to be really bad. If I have to build a road through there and move one of these, I might throw off my grid a little bit, but I can probably deal with it. Like, that stockpile there is not, like, immensely required. I can move one along. Like, what, what happens? Is this... I mean, is that, like, a new city segment? Well, I guess we are a giant ring, right? So it's kind of a, a, unusual that we're sort of locked into this one section. Yeah, we're locked into one section. Jeez, that's interesting. So you can expand... That's an interesting way of expanding the map as you go. We're at 88, 89... And the science should be coming in around the time that the tech lab finishes, which is good timing. And then I'm just going to send the science ship straight to one of the other objectives. Um, do we want to investigate, like, Mars, Saturn, or... Um, no, it's just Mars or Saturn. 1.5 cycles, or... Two point five cycles. So... Um, apparently, it's 1.5 to get to Saturn, so we're going to get to Saturn first, because I want I want the payoff, whatever it is. We have 75, we have 100 science in the bank. Tech lab almost done, back in a second. Alright, we now have an onboard science lab, which I assume means we're going to be used for exploration, because otherwise, why wouldn't you just put your lab on Earth? Alright, what do you got to say? Commentalism and medicine. Okay. Oh, complimenting a person on their psychological test results is a great way to make uh, an impact. Let's just quickly see what the science ship is doing. Signature trace. Okay, so someone's stolen our tech and it's around Saturn. Do I want to locate the debris or send a team to investigate? I think we're going to attempt to locate the debris to start with. Um, anyway, back to being complimented on my psychological state. My friend and colleague, Philip Stanford, couldn't be here today. So I will take the role of introducing you to the final stages of the whole engine integration. All right, so we've got a main engine. However, we would like you to complete the testing station's exploration and enhancement capabilities. You'll then be able to begin researching the EVA airlock and assess its compatibility with the Tycoon's core system. Okay. Ah, there's a technology tree button. Ah, cool. Alright, I can research stuff. Stanford would like me to remind you that space is a far less fanciful and forgiving environment than science fiction would have. So, probe launchers and EVA airlocks. I want a probe launcher. Oh, and it produces one science every 30 cycles. Okay, so you produce science very, very slowly out of these labs. Do I want a second lab then? No, I have... Okay, they, they thought of that. It's a limit of one. And my science ship is currently doing its thing. The reason I didn't want to send a team out is I don't want to get people killed at this stage, and I assume I can do both options. If I can't, that's unfortunate. People are happy. Okay, so we this is the number of jobs versus number of people, so we have 76 jobs for 78 people, so people are happy. Okay. Oh, we can overwork people. Alright, so we can use fewer people to do more jobs, but the workplaces become less safe. 
I love it. That's that's very Megacorp. Um, it's uh, peak post-capitalism. Uh, if I'm getting the Megacorp vibe right. So being able to overwork people, totally on point. Looks like there are six sectors, I've just noticed. Okay, so you, you manage six times this amount of territory, plus space. Okie dokie. 0.8 cycles until that is done. All right, back in a sec. All right, the science ship accomplished absolutely nothing. So next time I just need to send people into danger, presumably. Uh, but I have unlocked my probe launcher and can start unlocking the EVA airlock, which is apparently what the objective wants me to do. So I'll do that now. And I can build a probe launcher, which will take me over my limit when it comes to So if I disman I need to dismantle this for this to work. And let's move the workshop to over here. Build a road through here. Looks like we've collected most, but not all the metals. So we might even need another stockpile. What is that under maintenance? Stockpile small. At least temporarily build this here. I'm still concerned we might need to put something in that corner. Dismantle this row that's in the way here. And let's start overworking people by building whatever this is. What is that that we can't build behind? Is that road or what's going on there? I'm not sure why I can't build that there. Like, I don't like this two, two by two wasted thing. I don't like 2x2 two two wasted. I could build like a 3x4 in that space and waste some of it, but that's that's unfortunate, whatever that is. Um, so the question is, do we build it there even though it would be wasteful? Or do we try and move it down here? Like if we put it there, what does that let us fit in that corner? One, two, three, four, five, six. Was there anything that we had that was like a f by six? No, it just doesn't fit because it wants a wants a thing o. I mean, we can move. We can move over a bit. We can waste uh, one, two, three. We could fit two apartment buildings in there and waste a grand total of like four blocks of space. That might have to be the go, but I don't know how much we want to pack these all along there. I think we do this road down this way and road that way. And what that means is you can build, if we don't get anything else that's of a certain size, right? We can build houses facing like that and you're wasting like a little bit of room in front of them. Although hopefully we'll find some buildings that are of the appropriate size. We'll make this also a metal stockpile just to allow us to collect it all. Ports being received. Crew members are being overworked. Dollars employment contracts make it clear that a high degree of flexibility is required. The situation begins to take a toll. Deploy additional crew members. We will request additional staff. All right, we can bring 20 people over. Um, crew, go move. Go move crew. Oh, I can do priorities. Yep, go go bring go bring people. I have I have jobs for people and I have homes for people already.
I'm not sure what the probe launcher does. It seems like another exploration thing, which seems like a good thing to have. And we have to build an EVA airlock. There's also a big space base building. And again, I feel like if I want to use that space up there... I can do this by demolishing that road. Brilliant. What does this do? Repairs hull points. Costs 90... Costs a whole bunch of power. Okay. I guess I can turn things off, I hope. Oh, cool. So you can power buildings off. So we're probably going to need to turn some things off in order to deal with the power requirements for the airlock. Um, and then we need to figure out... I presume the game's going to tell me how to make more power. I'm not going to fall into the trap of running out of power, though. So I'm going to temporarily shut down, because I don't think there's anything else... Oh, there is an insect farm. I want an insect farm. Um, so we need a little bit of power. So let's build a probe. I assume it's useful. The stockpiles take power. I'm not sure where I can, like, skimp power from. Anyway, let's see what's happening on Mars. I need a way to generate more power. A U the UN has established a facility lacking materials. Okay, so we can get 20 metal or 10 metal and 10 polymer. This, this seemed... Oh, wait, hold on. This costs 20 of this. Uh, give me, give me resources. Yes. So hopefully now the cargo ship will carry. Okay, so the cargo ship will take stuff out there. That's good. I'm going to keep the science uh, bay down for the moment, but I'm going to need to research that insect farm pretty soon. So let's finish this for the objective, and then I'm hoping that it'll give me a way to generate more power. Hope I'm not being punished for building, like, ahead of the tutorial. Anyway, we'll find out in a minute. Cool, so I've just discovered that, like, Mass Effect style, you launch probes and you find resources on the map. At the moment, I'm only finding research data. But there's a big spike of research data over here. So, um... And my science ship isn't really doing anything, so... Maybe I'll launch a probe out that way. They seem pretty cheap. Although I might have to turn it off soon. Alright, EVA airlock. You're gonna need... Oh yeah, because you're gonna need 12 power. So we'll, we'll finish. We'll finish the probes later. Give me a way to generate more power. I want to turn my science. I want to turn my science lab and probes back on. Like build this quickly. Yeah, construction's going slow. Back in a moment. All right. So this event ended up basically trading uh, twenty of the normal metal for twenty polymer. So we'll return our science ship back home. I'll tell the cargo ship to bring those resources back, because they will be handy. And we now have this thing, the EVA airlock. Great. There we are, okay. So it wants me to produce this engine. Okay. But I'm like, I want more power. 
So it'll cost me 10 and it'll give me 40 additional power output. That sounds like a fantastic deal because it lets me turn my buildings back on. So how about you build that before you build the engine? And then once that's complete, Science Lab goes back on. We get some food production started because my people will starve eventually at this rate, which is not, not ideal. Corporate workers are, are less productive when their bodies are consuming themselves for nutrients. Uh, people who have eaten are generally better at their jobs. All right, we'll let that finish constructing. Okay, everything is powered back on. The research lab is running. Fantastic. Uh, we're researching insect farms, which is our food production, which is good because the next service is in 1.4 cycles and we feed a whole bunch of people, uh, which means we can now go to exterior view, exterior construction. Oh, we could build more solar panels. Oh, it looks like they get more expensive each time. So, do I want to spend 10? Well, I'm transporting some back. So, yeah, I, I think I want to get even more power just while the tutorial stuff is running, and then we're going to implement the engine. Because right now, I'm just using the time to get my food production going. Alright, we've got another probe. I don't think we send that probe out because the last probe I sent out didn't seem to find anything. I might have missed something, but it didn't seem to find anything. I mean, I'll have another go. Let me just click this for a moment. Readings. Greater chance of finding something. Okay, that's um, that's reasonable. But there's nothing in the asteroid belt at all. Oh, there's science. All right, so let's send a probe out there. See if we can get some science points. Build another probe. While our fleet brings back... Oh, fleet has brought back those. That's fine. He's got all the resources he needs. They've got all the resources they need. They're producing insects. Yummy, yummy insects. Let's speed up time. All right, we've got insect farms. And apparently, time can now stop. And we can go to tech two. Oh, great. Okay. Um, power... Stability. I don't. I don't know what any of this is. I don't know what any of this is, and I have a limited supply of science. Awakens humans stored in cryonic pods. That sounds like people. I like people. Thirty silicon into one electronics. Five carbon into polymer. Well, I'm not doing any basic mining yet, so I don't really need those buildings. So I'm not going to research anything right now. I'm just going to keep passively producing science and hope the probe finds some more. We've constructed that, so let's go and build the engine. And while we're at it, food, insect farm. Converting them into one food after one cycle. All right, so one food feeds 10 people. So we're gonna need a bunch of these, aren't we? Oh no, cycles, okay. 500 crewmen, 50 food is 500 crewmen every five cycles. So it's a uh, hundred food for f 100 food. Oh, sorry. It's expressing them in different units. I wish everything was just expressed in like per cycle. We need 10 food per cycle to feed 500 crew members, which means we need two food per cycle to feed 100 crew members. So we need two insect farms. I think I've got that right. The sizing there is wrong. That is also unfortunate. This is because this is what this is a four by lots. That's promising. I mean, we could stack them like that. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We could fit two. The road would go, the road would, there would be no like road through the middle anymore. We'd have to delete the road through the middle, but we don't need the road through the middle. So if I do that, and then delete all this road, Did I miscount by one? Tell me I didn't miscount by one. Oh no, it needs to face a bloody road. Well, that's unfortunate. That's going to be less efficient than I hoped. Alright, well I'm going to stack them like this. Build the road behind them. What are our... We're working extra hours again. Okay. That's okay. Where's our probe? Oh, science ship. Discover a, a location. Go to that location. You're building the engine. You've got a probe. Is there anything else that we need to detect? I can't see anything else that we need to detect. Alright, that's fine. So the science ship is going out to what the probe found. This thing's building the fancy engine. This thing's not researching anything because we don't have enough science. We've got one insect field going. This will be enough to feed another, uh, to feed the entire population. And the question is do we want one more so we can start running a net positive in exchange for overworking our people even more? I also don't know when you demolish a building, do you get a full refund or not? Because that's a that really affects how you play these games. If you can demolish cheaply... Do I want to take that incoming transmission? Because of your continued successful management of the tycoon, oh, great. New crew and supplies. That's good. Oh, a hundred workers. Jeez, okay. Um, we're going to need some creativity in how we do this. Because that's going to be a home there eventually. So let's just desi let's just temporarily designate it with a road. Because what I want to do is get rid of the road pieces that's blocking the home slot here. Oh, I know we can do that. Oh no, we can we we can do that. But we also want to be able to knock this thing out here and build them like that. Just means there won't be a connector here. But I think that's okay. As long as that, as long as this road up here is connected. So we won't do that one immediately. What we'll do is we'll assume it's going to be there, and build down this way. This road, that road in the middle, also probably won't be there because it's inefficient to be stacking roads on both sides of a structure. So we've done what thirty. Looks like there's a... I don't like that because there's a little bit of wasted space there. So can we build a bigger structure of some kind? We could limit the space to one square if we did it that way. Which would also let us put a, a, a run-through road to cut down transit time further up. So if what we do is we demolish 
these two, or rather don't build them for the moment. Instead build a road, a connector road through. Then build house, house, house. We do that. And then it's this road down here that's going to get ditched. Like a lot of this stuff down here is going to get ditched to make more room for other stuff. Cool. Let's go see what the science ship has found. By proceeding to breach the terms of your agreement, can and will result in summary dismissal. Let's try it. Purpose of this facility is to continue with the development of classified projects far away. I'm being blackmailed. I'm being blackmailed for resources. Huh. Here we are, let's give in to blackmail. Let's openly give in to blackmail. I absolutely will have three three soon. Look at it, I'm already building one. And in fact I'm gonna need more than that. So let's finish those. Is anyone homeless? I don't think anyone's homeless. Now we just need to get the insect farms going so that people, because we now have one food. Okay, so we're going to another solar system. Before you do so, Ben Dolos, Marduk Council Founder and Dolos CEO, wants to talk to you. Where's my cargo ship that's apparently going out there? You're the big boss. Hello, Administrator. I'm glad to see that you have managed to complete your assignments in preparation for this unique moment in history. You must understand that this is not simply another chapter in humanity's story. The book of our life on Earth is over, and we stand now at its epilogue. It saddens me to think that there are many who have yet to comprehend the reality of our situation. We've endured endless cycles of war, crisis, and famine. Still, the worst is yet to come. 
There are others like okay. who have prepared for this outcome, but most of our kind remain sheltered from the horror of the predicament we find ourselves in. The pale ghost of civilization will wither and die, and with it, the tenets and values of the past. As we prepare to leave this system for the first time, perhaps we must decide which fragments we will pick up and take forward with us. Through Dolos, I am offering mankind an alternative... So you are Operation Exodus. All right, you're Operation Exodus. You are you're leaving the solar system because you think everything's going to go to shit. Ropes and tying the knots that would bind together this magnificent ship. Okay. It is true that our time in this world is brief, but at least I can rest assured knowing that my legacy will endure for eons. Okay, mildly egotistical, but you are a CEO of a megacorp. And I am basically out of resources. So I'm going to pause that construction because I don't actually think I have enough. I want my little cargo ship to hit here and then I want to move my ship. ship team has completed a task. Thank you, Administrator. Now leave. I will ensure they issue a public state and rationalize the contact. You need to explain your action in due course. You might have heard we're working the next iteration of the Tycon, the Protagoras. Oh, cool. Um, go get the stuff. Including that food. In fact, get the food as a priority. I want the food mostly. And then get everything else. Then we'll think about moving our ship. All right, so apparently it's now time to fire up the drive. Um, from what I have read... Oh, I need another stockpile assigned to electronics. That's easy. Let's make one of our metal stockpiles an electronics stockpile because we no longer have basically any metal. So we're all good there, guys. Um, solve the problem for you. So apparently we need to move the ship, but apparently moving the ship... Yeah, this is what I said. Turns off all the power. Hey, that's cool. So we've got a whole bunch of, uh, I presume, nuclear engines. Everything is currently powered down and in blackout mode. People will not be happy. Apparently you need batteries in order to solve that problem, but I don't um, have batteries researched. So let's get to the moon. I think all of our stuff is collected. We're all here. Cool. We have no batteries. All right, so we can now fire off this engine. All power will be diverted to the engine during the 0 0.5 charge cycle. All right, we're going to fire that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's happened. All ships are here. Everything's powered down. Everyone's miserable. Let's go to this new star system. I presume this is some sort of FTL drive. That or we're in for like a generation ship experience. Okay, trippy graphics makes me think some someone's concept of an FTL drive. Okay. We're moving through some sort of alternative space. Is this is this the warp? Did we did we transit to the warp? Are we gonna get destroyed by demons? Is this 40k? Because it looks like we're fire, we've, we've transitioned into some other sort of space and then we fired our conventional engines. Mm. 
Okay, everyone's cheering. Yes. Held in its bosom are the ingredients of evolution. Uh, there's probably other planets like that, but yeah, ours is pretty cool. Beyond the safety of comfort, we, humanity, pursue something greater. We have learnt, persevered, shaped our knowledge from that which is found in the furthest realms of science. However, humanity has brought destruction to the earth, polluted its blood, choked its breath. Today we are paying the price for this. We know the taste of a dying world. Okay, and, and it, you don't think it'd be more energy efficient to fix the mostly functional biosphere? Disappear with her. She wishes to see instead courage in her children. Okay, so we're bailing on Earth. Okay, got it. We've decided that rather than repairing ecological damage on our planet, we're going to leave. Yeah, okay, you're showing me lots of buildings and tactics that you haven't let me use, so... We must go as a species, bound together, pushing further into the unknown. Alright, so we're going to colonize space. Cool. You see, because there is hope to be found, horizons to explore. And I presume the reason we went out to the moon first is so we didn't mess anyone up with our FTL drive. I give you the stars. I give you the goal and... That's, um, um, really? You can see me from, okay. Uh, okay. Did we just frack up the moon? It took us half a cycle to get the moon. Why did we not burn out to the belt or something? Yeah, we just fracked... Oh, and we're back where we started. Okay, so we blew up the moon, and we're back where we started. Fantastic. Someone did not go through the research and prototyping stage of that. Did we not do a small-scale jump? Yeah, explain what just happened. Oh, great. Someone hacked our warp drive. Okay. Great. Analysis confirms discrepancies between the mission clock and the apparent advanced state of the solar Okay, so we've time traveled. We are receiving no communication signals. From we wiped out life on Earth. Likelihood of ongoing survival stands at approximately Does not seem like you'd have enough information to make that calculation, but okay. I thought that was our original plan anyway. Urgent issues requiring immediate attention. Increase food production output. Restore hull integrity. Cool. All right, I paused. Um All right, so we're in the Earth solar system. But apparently we've destroyed everything. So someone's hacked our engine. I presume someone's hacked our engine, destroyed everything. Let's send the science ship to investigate. Uh, yeah, okay, I need resources. Resources, resources, resources. Give me resources. Because I want... What do I... Let me just check this for a moment. What do I manufacture into this stuff? Alloy. Um, production. Because this is the stuff that I don't have enough of. And this is what I use to repair the hull. 
So, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a problem. Hull integrity looks okay. Oh, great. Okay, so we're losing a whole bunch. Fantastic. How do I make more? I make steel mill, turns iron into alloy. So I need to find iron and go mine it. Gib iron. See, something like this appeals to me. Because there's a shit ton of iron there. So make that, and then, like, build me another probe, because I'm assuming I'm going to need to find resources. Um, I think that's all I can do for the moment. I'm, I'm thinking of closing this off soon. Are we the last of us and moon oddity? Okay. And there's a time limit on these. Are we the last of us? Alright, so apparently we need to send a expedition down to Earth. I'll look at that later. Cool. Um, well, we have... Okay, so we need to go investigate the um, Ushinabi. We need to feed a thousand... Well, we have enough food production for our 200 people. So we're currently okay. We need to find an asteroid with iron... Oh, that's what I was already doing anyway. And we need to send an expedition to Earth. We can do that. Go mine iron. So apparently our probe has found iron. Fantastic. We go mine that. Salvage what resources we can. Wow, this is great. So this is... um. This is the game, it looks like. I thought we were going to be exploring another solar system, which apparently is still our goal. It says exoplanet. Might be in the solar system, might be beyond it. Uh, but it appears uh, that we blew up the moon, uh, killed everyone on Earth. Um, yeah, look, in one narrow way, I'm going to call that a sort of success, right? Because it takes a lot of energy to blow the shit up out of the moon, so we've clearly designed a weapon of mass destruction. We've got a device that is capable of, you know, destroying moons. Um, we just, uh, unfortunately, didn't spend the extra cycle, you know, doing a test run further away from planet Earth, which seems like something that, you know, the safety people probably should have looked into. Anyway, um, I'll put this up, see how the reception goes. At the moment, I'm going to be focused on keeping Terra and Victor, and also Dwarf Fortress got a really good reception, so a little bit of Dwarf Fortress running as well. Uh, not sure if I'm going to include this one in the mix. really depends on how the reception goes. So if you enjoyed, uh, let me know, uh, engage with the video. Otherwise, yeah, I think I'll play a little bit more of, of this uh, by myself, and maybe do at least one more episode regardless, just to, to do a little bit more investigation. I'm enjoying it so far. It's got Shades of Frostpunk. We're now in a survival situation. I was... It seemed pretty coddled at the start because there was no bleed, but now we've got a bleed in hull integrity and all sorts of stuff. So I don't know. I enjoyed Frostpunk. I'm gonna I'm gonna try this out, see how we go, um, and hopefully not you know cause the extinction of the human species a second time over. Take care, all. Hope you enjoyed. See you soon.